Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Oleg Dannenberg. I'm Business Development Director for Softline Digital. Um, let's wait for, for people to come. Uh, let's give one, two minutes, and uh, we'll get started. And uh, yeah, I'll come back to you. Thanks. Uh, Dimitar, can you just bring the presentation on, on the screen so we could already have it here to, to be able to start soon? Okay, uh, let's start it. Um, uh, again, everyone, good afternoon. Uh, today we will have a, a workshop for a computer vision uh, topic uh, from uh, Softline Digital uh, de de Delivery. Um, uh, today we will have a, a solution sales manager, uh, Demeter Vasiliev, uh, to be a speaker for this uh, workshop. And uh, yes, uh, uh, I'll propose uh, during the presentation ask the questions after each uh, case that will be presented so you could uh, get the most um, the most from, from from this presentation. Um, thank you very much to coming and uh, Dimitar, please start it. Thank you. Dimitar, you are on mute. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, now we can. Um, thank you. Uh, hello and welcome to today's presentation. Um, uh, let's start uh, with the topics for today. Uh, the first uh, well, I would like to say a few words about uh, uh, Softline Digital and uh, industry and uh, uh, what the team is uh, doing. Uh, exactly, Softline Digital is a, a core, core uh, is a team uh, which core competencies uh, are based on innovative technology and uh, industry expertise and uh, how to implement this technology uh, to transform the business. 
Uh, the essence of uh, digital transformation of uh, any business is uh, sustainable ability to make management and technological decision based on data uh, rather than the subjective human uh, experience. Uh, to do that, uh, uh, first we have to collect uh, data using sensor, uh, which is uh, number one uh, IoT uh, capturing the data in that slide and future that data uh, collects need to be stored somewhere. Uh, the next step is process the collected big data, find patterns and predict the outcome uh, or predict future events. Uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning and computer vision uh, technology layer are responsible for this. At the last stage, the uh, process data is visualized depending uh, who is the customer and the final information. The process, in fact, is a much more complex. Uh, however, it depends on the business problem and solution. And uh, similar technological progress is imposed in, on any industry. We prioritize prioritize uh, retail, manufacturing, logistic, logistic, healthcare, because these industries have uh, a lot of cases. Uh, however, uh, uh, other market segments so are also affected and can be can benefit of this technology. Uh, Softline Digital uh, has a strong team uh, in every technology area in the uh, intersection of each of these uh, listed industries. Transformation. Transformation processes uh, process uh, consists these uh, five flows. The first one uh, we are looking uh, and searching for solution uh, on the market that solve uh, the pain of businesses with the help of innovative technology. On average, uh, only three percent of the uh, goes to a soft line digital portfolio. Uh, there are out-of-the-box solutions that solve specific business problem or a set of these uh, out-of-the-box solutions. They can be quickly sold and implement the customer, uh, knowing that the customer uh, has a request. On the second stage, on the design, uh, we develop unique solutions uh, for the request and need for the customer. These are a custom solution designed by, by our architects. Often client has a request uh, for a complex solution that needs to be developed from scratch. Uh, also, I have to add here that uh, we can reuse uh, most of the uh, uh, most of the cases that have been built previously. Of course, and uh, on a next flow, uh, uh, selected uh, ready-made solution uh, or having designed by architects, we can proceed to um, uh, demo or to uh, pilot phase. Uh, on the next stage uh, implementation of the solution, uh, we can proceed with the uh, uh, onboarding customer also to provide technical support and to present the final solution uh, to the customer with uh, mass rollout implementation. Uh, on a final uh, on a final stage, um, uh, Softline Digital is engaged with the educational activities uh, and. Uh, uh, to educate end customer or supporting or supporting staff. The value of uh, Softline Digital uh, is based on uh, three key points. The first one is the process uh, we improve the business performance. 
uh, of companies using innovative technologies like uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, IoT, big data, virtual reality, augmented reality, and so on. The second is to speed the decision making and testing the hypothesis for availability. We will work according to agile methodolo methodology. This approach gives us competitive advantage. Uh, the third is experience, which is based on uh, uh, 11 technology experts, which of whom is also expert in key industries for us. The army of developers, which today is nearby uh, 500 plus people, stand at the rescue. The team has undertaken dozens of successful industry cases in uh, real businesses. Why is worth paying attention to the solution and expertise of Softline Digital? Nowadays, uh, every business from small to corporation face challenges. These challenges are, are associated with digital transformation, namely with the organization of business and technological process based on data. The trend is already obvious and uh, it's worth stay starting to play uh, for a future now. Uh, in the forizable future, many uh, processes and tasks will be solved using artificial intelligence and machine learning technology. Business and large corporations see these trends and are really looking for opportunities for digital transformation. Softline Digital is the guide uh, to digital transformation of your uh, projects. Uh, implementation of this of this process and the returns uh, can be visualized in that slide. Uh, we see that uh, most of the uh, projects has uh, a relatively small amount of uh, pre-sales and implementation process, less than one year. And you can see um, pre-sales process also is uh, very, uh, very low between one and three months. Uh, on today's presentation, we are focused on the uh, last um, uh, role. Hello, is there a question? No, oh, Dimitri, go ahead. Okay. Uh, last row shows the computer vision um, process, which is a uh, topic of the today's presentation. We see uh, pre-sales process between one and three months. Uh, um, I can say uh, even smaller because uh, if it's not so complex, computer vision is based on a, a visual and reality and very easy, acceptable by, by the customer. That is the reason to, to show a lot of visuals in today's presentation. And uh, average cost uh, uh, also comparing with the other project here. Uh, also, industries are not uh, are based on the current project, but uh, please don't focus only on these uh, industries. Computer vision has uh, also other industries are uh, can be applied and uh, experience can be applied to other in industries as well. Let's go in uh, next one. Computer vision solution uh, uh, for simplifying can be uh, can be said that it's a field of computer science that is focused uh, uh, based on digital system and uh, analyzing uh, information from uh, cameras uh, or all, all other images or videos that can be produced. Uh, the concept is based on uh, how to teach the computer to process the images uh, on a pixel level and to understand that. Uh, also, uh, next stage is to, to teach the computer system uh, how to uh, process and what exactly uh, is interesting to view. For example, we can we'll see after that, but uh, uh, what is the uh, hot area that we would like to monitor and uh, how to teach that? 
Let's go to a real project that uh, have been uh, made by uh, The first one uh, we will show on today presentation. We will show the five uh, topics and uh, one uh, real case for that topic. And uh, please uh, don't hesitate to ask if you have any question at the end of every uh, of every uh, case. The first one that we selected for you is a real time media identification platform, which can uh, which uh, is uh, can be applied for a construction, manufacturing, logistic, public sector, and mostly the picture that we saw here is a public sector uh, safety, for example, and a recognition system. Um, here we can uh, resolve security issues, for example, uh, uh, restricted areas uh, to track the uh, traffic uh, enters to non-authorized uh, areas, a recognition of a different device, for example, weapons or uh, or uh, lift stuff, for example, backpacks uh, to warm us uh, or uh, companies uh, um, for manufacturing. If the employees do not warm uh, helmets, for example, classification of the objects. Uh, another good example is fire or smoke detection in some areas. Uh, we're doing that uh, as a, uh, uh, while using the cameras, uh, and also uh, currently, uh, if we teach the the technology to understand that uh, productivity is very efficient, uh, comparing with the human who is watching the cameras. Some of the uh, some of the examples and the real case scenario is uh, based on uh, uh, digital, uh, uh, based on the uh, project, a real project for uh, in Malaysia made. The task was to save manpower um, uh, to watch and to observe the uh, the video streams and to improve the quality of the control also to automate and speed up the reaction of the incident. Solution was to mount the uh, CCTV uh, cameras and to uh, uh, to learn the uh, technology to look for a people detection, vehicle detection, um, human pose recognition, for example, uh, uh, person down uh, to the floor uh, or walking to a restricted areas and so on. The result of the uh, of the customer was to, uh, improved security, uh, decreased headcount uh, three, four times because CCTV and uh, real identification of video stream were installed and the saving was near uh, 90,000 uh, US dollar per year per site uh, to operate and to monitor that. Technology that was used is uh, IP cameras, uh, Linux server, analytic platform, and uh, neuro services uh, to analyze that platform. Uh, this can be applied for public uh, safety buildings, um, for example, manufacturing uh, companies, industrial parks, and so uh, hospital also and uh, schools. Uh, on the next slide, I put some of the videos which can be uh, visualized this kind of solution. For example, public transportation. You can see that camera can analyze the uh, the uh, type and uh, 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 vehicle, also the color. Parking space can be analyzed, uh, traffic, hotlines, and so on. Also from a police and homeland security, uh, detection of the persons, also counting these persons and analyzing uh, faces if needed. From a healthcare perspective, 
uh, it's a hot topic these days to to track the to track the uh, temperature of the people which is passing by automatically uh, also to count these people to notify uh, in case of a high temperature and so on the next case is a uh, one also uh, very hot topic in the healthcare this is uh, a real project a real uh, screen uh, screenshot of the project in uh, Spain uh, that we made recently uh, you can see the the zones which are uh, monitored uh, for a uh, uh, monitoring zones uh, which are labeled here and uh, uh, tracking of the people also here you can see the uh, wearing number of the wearing mask uh, of the people who is passing by also we can detect uh, not only wearing the mask but wearing the proper mask pro properly wearing the mask uh, uh, in terms of uh, healthcare uh, in terms of manufacturing wearing the shoes uh, um, uh, and properly for example gloves only and so on this is just example. And uh, before moving to the next uh, case, is there any question about this one? Okay. You can also ask the question uh, in the um, chat. The next two. Uh, the next case that uh, that we selected is uh, monitoring platform. It can be applied uh, not only for uh, uh, companies but also for uh, education and public sector. Uh, uh, in few words, uh, we need to control employees which work remotely, not only to focusing uh, to daily activities but also for learning purposes. For example, passing test and uh, um, training system, uh, are they focused or not? So the offer here is to, uh, to track uh, employees on the working places uh, if, the, if they correctly passing exam and tests. In this case, uh, the real case scenario is uh, a mining company. Uh, a Russian mining company, uh, Nord Nickel, which have to control the attention of the people who is taking the exams and protection against cheating. Also, recognizing suspicious activity is also important. The solution is a proctoring system, which is monitoring employees during the taking the exam and generating reports and alerts uh, for a responsible employees. The result is uh, 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 high in uh, qualification of the employees during the uh, this exam and reducing cheating. The uh, used analytics is uh, real-time monitoring, uh, uh, analytic script, which is uh, JavaScript, and uh, priori, uh, industries are also uh, not only um, mining and uh, gas, but also education and uh, telcos. Uh, I have selected a few uh, pictures here. For example, this picture can be applied to this case. It's a um, education uh, training room which employees uh, are monitored. You can see the cameras here, which is monitoring uh, progress of the uh, taking exam and also uh, while taking the exam, we can also apply this uh, for education and to uh, monitoring the uh, focusing of the uh, students. Before moving to a third case scenario, is there any question about this one? Okay. Next one is a system for increasing production of conveyor line. Uh, we are seeing here a purely um, manufacturing, not manufacturing, but uh, FMCG uh, process. Uh, conveyor line is a 
and quality here is a very uh, a very hot topic for uh, this kind of companies. And here uh, we are uh, monitoring uh, closely not only the the productivity, but also and the quality of the process and calculating of automatically comparing employees how they proceed. The solution here is uh, the offer here is uh, uh, to increase the overall productivity uh, without increasing the staff members. The real case scenarios here is uh, poultry farm uh, made uh, two years ago and um, um, here we digitizing the employee productivity uh, and the packaging uh, workshop. Also, a solution include a video analytics system in production shop, uh, digitize areas and uh, also analytic consolidated from different parts of the production shop. The result is uh, paid off during just one year and increasing uh, productivity uh, more than uh, up to 25%. So uh, um, also downtime is uh, minimized and uh, onboarding of the new employees uh, from become uh, from one, uh, become shorter uh, one month to up just to five days. Technologies that can be used are uh, Python as a language for programming, open computer vision uh, protocol TensorFlow and few others. Uh, cases here are uh, broiler poultry farm and uh, meat processing uh, plants, but also can be applied for a uh, few other. For example, uh, uh, in manufacturing, uh, uh, computer vision can be used also uh, except for uh, calculating, but also for monitoring uh, um, uh, behavior of the employee. And also next one, um, calculating the equipment and recognizing the equipment should stay on that place or not. And also monitoring the employees uh, and their location in the uh, uh, in the conveyor line. Is there a question regarding this case or to move to the next one? The poultry about the poultry farm. Um, would it be applicable to um, egg farms that use the poultry for um, egg production? Yes, of course. OK, noted. Yes, um, thanks. Okay. And yeah. very easily. It's okay. it, yeah. um, and very easily we can uh, we can um, teach the computer vision to calculate X because uh, they are much more standard than the uh, broilers, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also in open space because they are also free range uh, chicken that uh, so they they have all the three levels: the free range, the the closed ones and the caged ones. Yeah, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, we can calculate and monitor them. All right, thanks. Next case, uh, which is uh, the fourth one, is um, uh, very innovative. It's a face payment system. Uh, this solution is uh, very uh, attractive and can be applied for uh, retail shops uh, mostly, but is not limited to, it can be applied to airport, hospitality, but mostly uh, focus here is retail and uh, be based on uh, our, uh, our experience also to a retail shop, uh, to coffee shops. Uh, here is to speed the uh, customer service uh, while paying uh, and also in additional lo to, um, to add loyalty program points uh, during the payment process. 
Uh, anyone of us uh, have experience with sl sl slow lines uh, when we go to, uh, for example, to super uh, to supermarkets and to wait uh, cashier to uh, to deal with the all um, our buyings uh, and we are wait during that time. Uh, of course, there are innovative solution, for example, to self checkout, but uh, also during the nowadays in these uh, uh, fast checkouts, we have to pay with credit card and after that to, to use our loyalty card. This innovative solution uh, cover uh, not only the payment, but the also a loyalty program and just using your face as a a way to to pay. Uh, also, uh, everything, uh, all these can be do can be done for uh, approximately three seconds uh, to pay uh, all your stuff. The real case scenario here is a, a large supermarket retail in Russia, uh, and the task was to use biometric and very fast payment for uh, uh, and also simultaneous lo loyalty processing uh, of the um, uh, payment. The solution is to use special, in this case, uh, uh, real sense cameras, uh, which uh, uh, can be known for some of you uh, because this is exactly a real sense cameras are used in the, our laptops if you want to use uh, unlocking your device uh, using face recognition. These uh, these cameras are uh, a Windows 10 uh, require uh, real sense cameras to to make the login uh, securely. So uh, the solution use uh, exactly these uh, cameras. So they are special equipment uh, for for this scenario. So uh, the customers dealing with uh, mobile application to create the, uh, so the customer uh, make um, all this setup using self-service with their with their uh, mobile application and the result after that so they check out very fast uh, during uh, in the in the shops uh, all this uh, is made in uh, all these technologies is using the Azure. Uh, also, uh, there is a small um, equipment that have to be put on the, uh, uh, on the customer shop. Uh, large grocery retail is the uh, uh, is the uh, industry that is more benefit here, but is not limited to this one. Uh, this is a sample uh, for this uh, uh, equipment. You can see here the the tablet-like uh, device with the uh, with the special camera on top, and you can pay with the uh, uh, with the, uh, your face. Also, there is a video of kiosk, and you can see very fast here uh, the customer is approaching, scanning the barcode of the product product, uh, selecting, uh, confirming payment and selecting the uh, face, face payment, analyzing the, the payment and payment is ready. Also automatically recognizing the customer and uh, uh, adding points to, uh, uh, to his uh, loyalty program card. And also uh, there is a, a portal for the retail shop where the uh, retail shop uh, can um, can um, make a special promotion for a particular uh, type of customer and uh, on the next payment there will be a special gift for him or promotion of some kind of uh, products for this type of customers so many CRM uh, stuff uh, behind that. Before going to next one, is there a question regarding face payment? Uh, I would have a 
uh, two questions. Uh, one is that uh, what does it recognize? Because I see that it recognizes face even in mask. So how much part of the of the face is needed? And then the second is the data processing, which is in Europe a regular question about how compliant it is to to GDPR. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, are there any issues with that, or or it is a, a fully safe solution? Uh, it's a fully safe uh, cutter because uh, there is no snapshot of the person uh, uh, at just uh, a certain points, uh, for example, eyes and nose uh, and different um, parts of the face are uh, getting uh, uh, getting into consideration. And uh, exactly this technology is proven by uh, Intel and Microsoft to implement it as a login system in uh, your computer. So it's uh, purely safe and uh, regarding, uh, regarding GDPR because there is no uh, snapshot of the face. It's, uh, it's clear from that mm. aspect. OK, thank you. Could I just ask one more question, please? Yeah, yeah. From please. Serbia, Alexander from Serbia. Uh, so uh, this solution look, uh, looks uh, really outstanding and amazing, and I think uh, everyone, every customer would uh, like to have it. Uh, but uh, first of all, we need to somehow discover if we have any chance to talk to them regarding their budgets and so on. Could you uh, share just uh, just a rough numbers? Uh, what would be the size of the project in the terms of money? Is is it tens of case or hundreds of case or millions what is the range i know it depends on many things but yeah yeah uh, let's say alexander that we had to clarify but it depends on the number of these kiosk and also type of this kiosk for example if they are uh, small the price is uh, uh, will be less uh, number of devices is also important and one important uh, part is how many scans per person, uh, uh, how many scans, uh, scans are made uh, for particular person. So uh, it's not worth a fortune. However, it's not a, uh, let's say, cheap solution. But immediately when I saw this from my colleagues from Digital Lab, uh, I imagine that we have a local uh, retail store, which, which is very popular but does not have loyalty card with this solution they will make first uh, fast checkout they will make loyalty cards and uh, they will be quite innovative because also this solution uh, can remove the paper uh, received here uh, the customer will receive everything on an email or or the application and this is also very, uh, very uh, good benefit from that solution. They will remove the paper. Uh, uh, Dimitri, can, can, can I can I add the the, the, the to answer? So uh, let's say you have a small a small cafeteria shop. So uh, the case for small cafeteria shop, uh, it's about ten thousand k to implement such thing. It's like. We, we, it might be it's not a clear answer, but because it, it can rise and even in, like average number won't help you anymore. But uh, but with this, like coffee shop will cost about 10,000 K, like the, this simple one. OK, thanks, Oleg. That's, that, that's the question I, I, I really posed and th that, that's the key answer. So 10,000 K, I think it's not too much for, for a small uh, store. It doesn't have to be hundreds of employees and so on. That was my question. So this is the right answer. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I will move to a next scenario. Uh, this one is a, a computer vision um, and monitoring uh, from drones. Um, uh, the solution here is to uh, monitor and to analyze uh, data captured from uh, for a large, a large amount of areas. Usually here we, we are talking for construction, mining, agriculture, where the, there is a huge uh, 
area that have to be monitored, analyzed, and so on. Usually, uh, it took a lot of time of, uh, for a person or team uh, to develop uh, everything, but when you have uh, drones and uh, proper, uh, proper technology, uh, uh, the reduction can be uh, not only in time, but also if with the quality of the uh, uh, of the uh, images that have been taken. The real case scenario here is uh, um, uh, Earthworks, uh, which uh, the task was to monitor uh, uh, more than 200 hectares uh, construction site and to analyze uh, uh, regular drone monitoring uh, um, via the air. The result is to uh, the result was to uh, was uh, save 60 percent uh, because of uh, their uh, optimal redistribution um, uh, between the construction site and uh, uh, movement of bulk materials. All of this was uh, made by drone monitoring and uh, algorithm for real-time uh, volume calculation. Also, uh, can be applied for any construction uh, type. The pictures that I've uh, I've selected here was, for example, to use the drones to monitor uh, is it. Uh, construction was built as is planned or there is a difference in uh, uh, in the reality and also uh, also for a, a, a big mining uh, uh, for big mining quarry uh, a road is is it built uh, properly uh, in order to large trucks to passing by and uh, is there enough space in enough space uh, to um, for them and also to monitor this road building and to monitor also the um, uh, the trucks when they passing by uh, also uh, drones can be used for security purposes uh, uh, here not only for mo uh, monitoring and the next case is, for example, to to calculate uh, uh, to calculate uh, the uh, to calculate the uh, uh, to calculate the material uh, based on the measurement made by drones. Uh, and to, uh, for example, uh, and to provide information how many trucks are needed to remove all these materials and so on. Uh, this is uh, the last one. We have only three minutes left, so I'll uh, leave uh, the final slides to Oleg. Uh, and we have to, we have, uh, we should have a room for question. Uh, Oleg, please take uh, take the floor. Uh, yes, pl uh, please. Thank you very much, Dimitar. Uh, it's uh, it's it's it was great uh, presentation. And so the five uh, the last uh, slide uh, it's about five steps uh, of action. So. Uh, uh, I, I know that I have done it before, but I will repeat for those who uh, haven't been before. So we have uh, the stages of when actually. Uh, uh, from the opportunity till the closing uh, uh, stage. So, um, for all uh, uh, requirements, opportunities that come, please uh, contact Dimitar Vasilev. So, uh, he is the uh, solution sales manager that is responsible for uh, Eastern Europe uh, part of the region offices. Um, if you, uh, if you, if you, other other offices from other regions can contact me in direct. Um, so. How we see uh, this going? Uh, once we will, will get the opportunity uh, from account manager or BDM, we expect that uh, account manager will collect uh, the most, uh, like the, the, the most, um, I will say, 
not the required data, but uh, the, the, this what exactly will uh, will give us to understand what the customer wants from the from the beginning stage to to proceed further. So uh, uh, we will we can I will I will discuss with with you uh, also and I'll show you and send you some uh, the questionnaires that we expect from from you to ask the customers in getting the information. So it's very crucial for us uh, to get the right understanding and point what the customer is is looking for, so we could be more uh, uh, precisely prepared for uh, for the, the next stage. So the next stage is the pre-sale uh, of the an audit, where um, where account manager uh, and the solution sales manager uh, and business development director, it's, it's me, uh, um, meeting the customer and, and presented what we have from use cases similar to to this what he requested. Uh, and uh, in the way he's looking for, and also show uh, the customer the, uh, the, the the capabilities of the digital lab. Uh, the first call is make also additional audition and, and make a more clear picture what the customer is, wants from from the technical point, etc. The third uh, stage is uh, when we actually. Uh, um, building uh, uh, in a somehow a demo presentation um, the, the, to, the, to show the exact uh, work what what we wish, what we would like to to, to present uh, from the point of implementation as well as uh, uh, provide some um, some uh, some various scenarios of of, of solutions uh, that the customer is going to choose from. Um, and also, uh, we are getting the uh, some additional requirements uh, in what the customer is willing to proceed further. Um, on this call, also we, sometimes we can we can have a vendor on the call who can be uh, also assisting us with the demo presentation. So we some demo presentations requires the assistance. So this might might can happen as well. Um, on the fourth uh, stage, I see uh, uh, the situation where actually. Uh, not this IC situation, but the situation that we have uh, here is when uh, we have a, 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 a prepared uh, proposal for the customer uh, and uh, sending this to a account manager to have a look and uh, agree with, with, with the account manager that this is going to be delivered to the uh, to end user with our margin and etc. explaining everything. So we have a final uh, proposal to the customer on the, on our on our solutions. So uh, um, on this call also is invited a uh, solution sales manager and architect. Uh, so architect for this is the, um, the computer vision architect, Ivan Korsakov, uh, who is on the call uh, as well. Uh, and bo both those guys are presenting the solution concept and discussing the pilot and POC. POC is a proof of concept. That, uh, that can be delivered also to the customer based on the uh, free or the cost. It will depend on the uh, agreements uh, with the customer. So there are some uh, cases where we can provide the free um, free, free concept, uh, the free free pilot or POC, I will say, concept. But it's, 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 it has to be very strong uh, uh, highlighted uh, point for how the customer is going to proceed further with us. Um, and then we discussed on this call also the implementation. The final, the closing stage is the where we are uh, adjusting the proposal uh, and uh, if it if it's requires any adjustments and uh, discuss uh, the, the, the implementations of, PO, of file, POC or production uh, implementations. Um, and here we're signing agreement, uh, collect, look at collecting final require, requirements and setting up the, the work with the, with the resources. Uh, that who are going who, who are going to implement it? So uh, who are going to implement this work? So for example, we have a customer with the with the solutions that he wants to uh, implement it uh, within his uh, infrastructure. So we uh, here step up uh, the majority three main players. It's a uh, uh, Softline uh, Digital, uh, Softline Development Team uh, together. So it's a five five hundred plus. Uh, uh, Developers, programmers, and etc. and etc. who can actually come in physically also perform some work. Um, and also uh, the, some of some of the solutions also where the vendor will be involved at least for the three, four, or five of your first projects. So we could learn it with them how the how this should be done it, and then take this over on ourselves. Um, 
I hope it's clear uh, as, as as much as I could uh, explain it to you. Otherwise, uh, we can uh, I can also talk to you separately. Um, please uh, rethink what we can uh, where we we can go together with you. Our, and I'm looking for opportunity to work with you and uh, implement those uh, interest solutions. And uh, as I said, this is just. Uh, few of our uh, solutions uh, and 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 of innovative solutions that we have in the portfolio and we are ready uh, to provide even more we have more than 100 of them so for each case for each industry we have something very unique and uh, that that will where highlighted the capabilities of softline eastern europe uh, in, in, within the sphere of this, uh, digitalization uh, to provide services to the customers thank you very much and uh, if you have any questions, say please ask, uh, or otherwise um, the presentation will be sent to you to, today. Uh, and sorry, I didn't send the presentation from yesterday from IoT. It will be also presented today. So all three presentations that we will have of workshops will be sent to all participants. Thank you very much. Any questions? If no, uh, I thank you to Demeter and uh, to the team who uh, uh, who came to and spent the time with us. Okay, thank you, guys. <laughs> no questions, I see. Um, let, let's uh, uh, yeah, let's uh, uh, let's go for the next uh, workshop that is going to be in a few minutes. Thank you. Bye bye.